nobody uh, should be above the law. And Mr. Malema start, is starting to think that he's untouchable and he is acting with impunity. Uh, the NPA should prosecute without fear, favor, or prejudice. For statements he made in Bloemfontein, Mr. Malema was not successful with his effort to have that legislation scrapped. We are looking forward to that so that justice can be done. We've had five cost orders against Mr. Malema and the EFF. In the end, uh, we will receive more than half a million rand. They have already paid uh, to an amount of more than 340,000 rand, but there are three other cases strong cases that we feel strongly about. We are looking at the on-point matter. What one has to know is that the NPA already took a decision before this matter was enrolled in 2015 that there was a case. The accused that uh, became ill is now well and fine and he recovered, but they st still have not taken any steps to re-enroll the matter. During the funeral of Ms. Winnie Mandela, a policeman, a, ser a senior colonel in the South African Police Service, was assaulted by Mr. Malema, and we've also included in this matter Mr. Nlaws. It was an assault of a senior policeman in full uniform. He was on duty doing what, what he was supposed to do. It happened in, in public. It happened in the presence of the generals of the armed force. What's also happened in this particular matter is that the case docket disappeared. We complained. We haven't had any feedback on this very serious matter. We have taken a firm decision to force the NPA to do their duty. A raid had been performed on Sneiman's offices where several firearms had been confiscated. And it's very important to highlight this. That indicates to us that it couldn't just have been a toy gun. Uh, we received a, a call uh, from the investigating officer that then confirmed to us that ballistic tests had been finalized. The investigating officer wrote a letter to us refer re confirming that the docket was already sent to the MPA. Tsepu Ndwalaza, spokesperson of the Eastern Cape MPA, then suddenly in the media denied ever receiving the docket. Just the fact that charge sheets had been drafted already indicates that the decision has been made to prosecute Mr. Malema, yet we still don't see anything happening. Um, we still haven't received any form of feedback. In fact, our phone calls are now also being ignored and no form of message is being answered by them. Um, in terms of Schedule 102 of the Firearm Controls Act, uh, a person can be declared unfit to own a firearm after an investigation by the registrar. This once again didn't bear any fruits for us. On the 25th of April, we then sent it to the Minister of Police, Mr. Becky Tele, um, after which receipt was confirmed and he then referred it to the necessary departments in the police. Once again, it's being ignored. With everything that I've just mentioned, I think it's, it's clear that we have no alternative but to make the assumption that Mr. Malema not only has some form of a special relationship with senior members of the ANC, but in fact that um, he has a very special relationship with senior members of the MPA and specifically the leadership of the MPA. Thank you. As Advocate Nell said, uh, failing to do so, uh, we will go to court to force the NPA to simply do their job. And it's a sad day. Um, if civil society has to force the NPA simply to do what they should do, and that is to prosecute without fear, favor, or prejudice.